And then today I've got just a quick review of the Lucid Launcher. This is a total home screen replacement. As you guys can see, I'm on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, traditionally, this would include the TouchWiz Launcher, which basically has a lot of garbage in. Uh, really, to be quite honest, the TouchWiz Launcher is known to be kind of slow. The launcher seeks to really clean up the Android experience, uh, making it very minimalistic and experience it has been a pretty fluid launcher. Now this is in its early stages, uh, so there is some improvement that can be made on this launcher. I'll give you guys a quick overview of the launcher itself and we'll do a quick demonstration. So the way that you navigate through this launcher is different from the traditional way. Traditionally you would swipe through your home pages left and right. In this one you swipe up and down. So I don't have anything on my home screens yet but if we swipe from the left to the right uh, we will get our app drawer from our app drawer we're able to um, add things to the home screen so just add a couple of things to the home screen and you can have those in the same space or right on top of one another like so or you can remove them all together okay, and then we'll go ahead and add an app to this home screen you guys can see the difference between the screens. So we'll go ahead and add a widget to this bottom screen. So you saw how I did that there, you just long press add widget. If you swipe from right to left, you're going to get the browser. It's just a very quick and easy way to launch the browser. Uh, you don't have to go into your app drawer and then click on the browser icon to bring it up. Very nice and simple, very fluid. Okay, and then also there is a favorites list. So a couple ways to access the favorites list. I don't have anything in the favorites list now. You would go from the very far left and slide it open. Of course, we can add some favorites just so you guys can see what that looks like. Just add the app to favorites. So you would just long press and add to favorites. And we'll put Stitcher in there, Twitter in there, XDA and YouTube. Okay, now if I swipe from the far left, I can access my favorite apps from any screen. So if I'm, if I'm in an application, if I'm in a browser, I can always access. From the far left, you're able to access your favorites. And you can rearrange and organize these favorites as you like by just sliding them around, um, or you can delete them. Like so. So that's just an easy way to access your favorites. There's also a search bar up top. You can search uh, for anything, Twitter. And it'll bring up the application. So you're able to search anything locally. Okay, and then you have your settings. You can change your system settings directly from the launcher. You can change your launcher settings. So there are several things to choose from here. The scroll animation, you can change uh, the way that it, that it scrolls through pages. You can change the color of the action bar. You can change the text color. All kinds of customizations here. You can change the icon size for the sidebar. So we make it smaller. You can see that it makes everything smaller. You can fit plenty more favorites in your favorites list. There's some app drawer settings here. You can change the number of columns and rows. You can choose to hide apps from the drawer. You can change the size and the label color. There's some home page settings here. You can add icon themes. If you download an icon pack, this is where you would select that icon theme. Uh, so it's nice to know that Lucid Launcher is able to work with icon packs. And then there are some advanced settings here. So that about wraps it up for my Lucid Launcher review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.